All right, we're back. Back here on the back porch. It's a overcast, rainy, cool day here in the early spring. And we are getting ready to finish. Yeah, rooster said it all. We're getting ready to finish uh, the other half of this porch, so let's get after it. We didn't get a lot of screws. So we're gonna have to break a bunch of them, but we'll get her done. Let's move on to the next step, board removal. So, I got a new set of blades for the planer, and we're going to have to utilize those on this project. Uh, I don't know if it's the screws, I don't know if it's the staples, uh, maybe it was Memphis. Uh, that way maybe we can wrap this thing up here and have a nice, beautiful, debt-free deck. like that tops off
We're gonna plane some wood, but we won't go high. We're just gonna stay low. <laughs> Quite a project here. Second half seems harder than the first half. Don't know why. But we're making good progress, moving right along. And I appreciate you sticking with us so far. Uh, now a word from our sponsor. Rails. This episode is brought to you by Saturday. Because yesterday was Friday. And tomorrow is Sunday. Okay. Uh, so... Had had uh, had some comments uh, on uh, planing these boards. How would like to see a better shot of what the planer actually does, since that's kind of the whole point of the video. So, uh, thank you to the one that made those comments, and uh, so we're going to do that right now. Let's go. I've got a traveler. Where did it come from? It's mama. Yeah. All right. Let's let's play. Let's play a board. These are. Uh, I'm, I've got the steps. I've got the steps taken off. The steps are rough looking, and so I thought that would be a great little uh, demonstration. So let's do that. All right. So this is the this is the step. This is the board. All right. Now let's plane it. after so there we go makes it look like a brand new board all right now let's get back to the rebuild
got them gapped up top. Let's get them locked down. Well, the dogs have lost their ever-loving minds, running around in circles, barking at the mosquitoes. So we're going to go ahead and call it a night, <laughs> and uh, we'll pick this thing back up uh, when there's less darkness around me. So see you then. Hey, all right, what's going on? All right, so we're on the porch here, and... We're going to try to get this thing wrapped up today. I got some Thompson's water sealer and we're going to get this thing sealed up. Let's go. I got me a toy uh, to do this with and it's a uh, nice little nice little sprayer here and let's get this thing opened up. This is an airless sprayer. Congratulations. You've chosen the brand preferred by pros. I didn't know. Roll when you can't spray. Okay. All right. Well, there's the instructions. So, let's see if we can figure out how to make it actually work now. All right. Sometimes the instructions are more complicated sounding than it than a process actually is. But let's see if that's the case here. Okay, there's the hose. Comes with a, a uh, a ball valve, garden hose ball valve, and it comes with this thing here. Let's see what this is. And tiny little hose. Okay. This is storage priming tool for magnum airless sprayer okay prime perform the steps below if you are experiencing difficulty oh it's like troubleshooting okay okay all right that's enough of that
think that fits. That's in there. Turn it to the lowest setting. Okay. Put that up. All right. I think we're painting.
Real time, that was like 10 minutes. If that, huh? That was super fast. This aero sprayer is A-OK -okay by me. It would have taken a lot longer to roll that, you know, with a roller. That's the only way to do this kind of stuff. Man, that really worked out good. Uh, we'll let that dry. We'll come back here to it in a little bit and check on it, make sure it's okay, and then we'll put everything up. But man, I think this is, man, that was so good. Yeah, all right, let's check it out. <laughs> 